So what should be the goal for MRD positivity or negativity? I think from the get-go, if we're facing a situation where we're seeing a patient that is young, that the patient is going to go through stem cell transplant, particularly if the patient has high-risk features, I think MRD should be the goal. In fact, one of the slides I showed at one of the educational sessions yesterday, I quote Vince Lombardi and I said, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's the only thing we should do. It's, it's not just important, it's the only thing we should aim for. Now, I say there's um, an exception to this and that is that there are some patients, for instance, elderly patients who may have more benign disease, who potentially could be thought of more like, say, a follicular lymphoma where, where a good level of control might be sufficient and you don't want to push it to the point that you create toxicity. But on a younger individual, certainly at the time that you decide on which therapy to initiate, I think that's a good goal to try to achieve. And uh, from what we can tell, the clinical trials are all pointing towards better outcomes for those patients.